The war between Israel and Hamas escalates. The terrorist group has released two hostages. One of the Israeli citizens, an 85-year-old grandmother, is now telling her story, saying she went through hell. Moments two elderly hostages now free from the grip of Hamas thought might never come. One of the released hostages says she was kidnapped on a motorbike and taken to Gaza. The 85 year old is likening her time with the group to going through hell. She's really the first person that have been with other people there and I think she's very aware that she can pass on information. Their medical condition is okay. They're talking. At first, we immediately brought them to their family members. It was a very, very emotional meeting. Meanwhile, in Gaza, people frantically search for survivors in buildings that have been bombed to ruins. The Palestinian Ministry of Health reporting more than 700 people have been killed in a bloody 24-hour period. And without much needed fuel being withheld in humanitarian aid deliveries, Gaza's hospitals are facing the possibility of mass casualty situations. Without electricity, you know, this hospital will just be a mass grave. As attacks escalate, the Israeli military says it's now waiting for a green light on a ground invasion. Hamas is responsible for civilian casualties, but we will do every effort to avoid them. Uh, and uh, to fight this war as speedily and as, uh, uh, as rapidly as we can, but it could be a long war. To any state or non-state actor that is considering opening another front in this conflict against Israel, or who may target Israel's partners, including the United States, don't, don't throw fuel on the fire. The 85-year-old hostage says she was beaten with sticks when she was first taken, but while being held in Gaza, she says she was treated well. Her 83-year-old husband remains a hostage. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching, because we are putting your faith in the news.